There's a new moon in the sign of Gemini coming our way on Monday, May 30th. I'm so happy to be out of the eclipse season. I don't even really care that it's still Mercury retrograde, but Mercury rules this lunation, meaning that some of the new beginnings that will come into our life will have the roots in the past. We might have to revisit some of the old issues or old ideas. So let's take a look at this lunation in more depth and break it down for each rising sign. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive astrology. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, hit the like button. I truly appreciate all of the communication I have with you guys. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, check out the link down below for my website. So this new moon happens at 9 degrees Gemini on Monday, May 30th at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. And it's a beginning, right? Like new moons are always new beginnings. The sun and moon come together, the archetypal mother and father, the moon gets impregnated, and then whatever we focus on, whatever we manifest, it's a great time to write your intentions at the time of the new moon, ends up growing. And then it blooms in the next six months and fully, kind of fully transpires by the time we get a full moon in Gemini. So you can expect some of the new beginnings in the Gemini sector of your chart, and I'll take you through it and talk about what that might represent. But basically, Gemini is the sign of the twins. Gemini is the mutable, adaptable sign. So there is an idea of redoing because Mercury is retrograde, but like we're kind of like looking at being the mutable sign means that they're sort of adapting, like we are adapting to the changing environment. We are adapting to the new information that is coming into our life. So there's new beginning in thinking, in technology, in the realm of ideas, new social media projects that may be coming into your life. But definitely you're required to think about things first. It's not so much like intuitive, it could be an intuitive new beginning too, but you're trying to figure out how your future plans connect to the changing world. There might be new partnerships coming into your life because Gemini is the social air sign and Mercury being retrograde, as I mentioned, right? Like we are somehow looking at the past and we are wondering what lessons we can use right now in our life or how we can use past experiences. For example, this could mean applying for a job that you didn't get before, but the job that you truly, truly like to do and you want to give it another chance. Or maybe you're moving. Maybe it's the time when you decide to relocate and maybe you're actually moving back to the place that you used to live at some point. There could be projects that you backfiled or you didn't give them attention. Now you're lo looking at them through a brand new lens, having brand new resources, right? Like maybe we all have been working from home and, and maybe you've always wanted to have like a home office, but it wasn't, you didn't have the resources or you felt like it's not going to be a temporary thing. And now you actually decide that, okay, maybe it is the time to build a home office, especially if you are a Pisces rising because Pisces have this new moon in the house of home and family. It's sextiles, aspects in a harmonious way and also occurs at the same time as Mars-Jupiter conjunction in the sign of Aries. So there's a lot of bravery, a lot of courage and boldness to all of us. So this new moon, while still, just the fact that it's like the ruler of the lunation is Mercury retrograde might imply that it's not going to be quick to unravel you may not understand what the, what exactly happened or you may not see the results for a while. Maybe there will be a little bit of back and forth and things you'll have to figure out along the way. But having it happen at the same time as Mars conjoining Jupiter just implies that you have more initiative, that you are, say you didn't get a job in the past, right? Like you're, if you are going back to the job that you've applied for before, especially if you are a Virgo rising with the retrograde happening in your 10th house and Mercury and the new moon happening in the 10th house. Um, 
maybe you applied for a job you didn't get it but now you feel like you deserve it and you have that that Jupiter conjunct Mars energy and you write them a long letter and you explain why you deserve it and then you do end up getting the job so more courage more initiative we're more competitive um, maybe a little bit cocky so watch out for being overly confident and maybe pushing your ideas too hard so let's take a look at every sign because it's a pretty I think it's a relatively straightforward new moon other than of course happening simultaneously with mercury retrograde which is never straightforward but it's you know there's no like challenging aspects other than mercury being retrograde so new beginnings that tie you to the past just be be aware of that for Aries rising, this new moon happens in the third house while Mercury is retrograding from the third into the second. So Aries risings are rethinking your values and you may be rethinking the skills that you have. Do you have enough knowledge of a certain topic, right? Since Mercury retrograded into your second house, Aries and Jupiter are conjoining in your first house, you are undergoing an important identity shift and that identity shift might require changes in the third house sector of your chart. So third house deals with schedule. You might be changing your schedule. Maybe something new is coming into your life where you need to free up space for, let's say you're taking a class, right? So you, you may be studying something and you need to adjust in order to fit the classes into your schedule. You may have to upgrade technology, like if you decide to become a YouTuber or a social media influencer, as many of us um, are trying to become one. Um, so, so maybe you need to bring new technology in. There might be short trips that you need to take. I feel like, I feel like it's very much right now about your personal goals your identity and your your values so as those change or as you revisit those you may need to make changes to your immediate environment and that shows up in like scheduling transportation technology communication there might be something you are feeling ready to express and maybe you're starting a blog or maybe you're just having an important conversation with someone with a sibling or a neighbor, siblings and neighbors can be figuring in your life quite prominently and starting projects or starting a business with siblings or neighbors is a possibility here too, as well as possibly their life is changing. And then as their life changes, you may be questioning your choices or finding yourself in the position of uncertainty and trying to figure out how to proceed. For Taurus Risings, this new moon happens in the second house. So. It's a big year for Taurus Risings when it comes to new personal beginnings, when it comes to redefining your identity and starting to call yourself or starting to say, I am this, not that. Like I am a um, business owner versus an employee of a company working for a job that I hate. Um, I am a journalist versus someone, like I don't know, versus a student, right? So there's like, there is a lot of things happening when it comes to redefining your identity and now you need to look at your finances and maybe get your finances in order like if you're a business owner do you have enough set aside for the possibility of your business losing money in the first i don't know month or a year that tends to happen um do you if you're going to school or you're trying to change your directions in life do you have money for that it's money, but it's also your values. It's also perhaps looking at, you know, Jupiter and Mars currently in your 12th house, spirituality, mental health, blockages, all the ways in which you may be standing in your way. So you may also use this as an opportunity to tap into your quiet place to go within and try to figure out whether your goals and your actions align with your core values and make you feel secure but other than that it's also a possibility that over the course of the next six months you will either spend money on your business on the new initiative or you will make more money maybe you'll get a pay raise or your business will start to show good results and maybe or or even a sense of like 
now you're pursuing things that are truly aligning with who you are. And let me know if this resonates in the comments below. But yeah, like as you're pursuing things that truly resonate, you start to feel more confident and more secure within yourself. For Gemini risings, this is a big deal. New moon is happening in your first house while Mercury is retrograding in the 12th, Mars is Jupiter in your 11th. So you have been with eclipses, you have been working on your mental health and your well being, possibly traveling or releasing certain self defeating notions, kind of trying to overcome, overcome a hurdle. And maybe that hurdle is you standing in your own way. And as you release the past, as you take control of your life, you're likely starting a new project or you're starting to present yourself in, new, in a new light. New moon in the first house, first house is physical body. So taking care of your health, changing your wardrobe, getting a new haircut. There's a lot of possibilities when it comes to bettering yourself, maybe scheduling some kind of appointments too or redefining your brand and anything that requires personal initiative, anything that you've been postponing and shying away from, now would be a really great time to do it. Perhaps you're working with the group of people, perhaps you're trying to make a name for yourself on social media, perhaps you're seeking recognition with that Mars Jupiter in the 11th house, giving you, it gives you good luck right now when it comes to social media or starting your online shop, like anything that deals with presenting your work and putting it in front of a lot of people, now could be the time. Make sure you're focusing on self-development, self-promotion, self-growth, and you will get closer to where you're trying to go. For Cancer Risings, there is a new moon in the 12th house while Mercury is retrograding in the 11th and there's a lot of action in your professional sector with Mars conjoining Jupiter there. So you may be, you may be dealing with people in your network with Mercury being currently retrograde in your 11th house, maybe looking at your partnerships and your friendships and questioning whether those people are supportive or not. There might definitely be New moon, new beginnings, 12th house deals with lessing, losses and letting things go. So it's, it's possible that you are releasing something. You may be releasing a friendship. You may be releasing an unhealthy tendency, kind of like looking, looking within, looking at yourself closely and asking what, what things you're doing, what habits do you have, what unhealthy behaviors you are representing that are standing in the way of your professional gains. So it's kind of like, you know, in order to gain something, you first have to release something and you're definitely can expect to do a lot of cleansing. Might be the time you start to do therapy, maybe the time when you have a breakthrough when it comes to therapy. 12th house also deals with helping others and it also deals with foreign lands, any place in which you feel kind of on your own and you have to sit with your own thoughts is very much 12th house. So that's another possibility of like either relocating or creating a spiritual practice for yourself where maybe you start to meditate every day or you start to journal and you start to prioritize rest and meditation. It's a good time for Cancer Risings for sure to take it easy and kind of go hermit away for a little bit. For Leo Risings, there's a new moon in the 11th house with Mercury retrograding presently in the 10th, Mars sextiles Jupiter in the 9th. So it's very much about your network and about your supporters, people who support you or maybe a lack of support. With Mercury retrograde, you know, like being in the in the 10th house, you are rethinking possibly your professional goals or the way your career either fulfills you or doesn't fulfill you or the way people see you, right? So the solar eclipse was in your house of career and maybe there's new beginnings when it comes to professional things. And in order to get there, you need to change your network. You need to change your network. You need to maybe go on networking events, meet new people, look for mentors. You're definitely kind of sorting through or starting new beginnings. It doesn't mean, you know, like 
maybe you're perfectly happy with the friends that you have, but perhaps to get to where you're going professionally, you need to reach out to people on social media. You need to ask someone to put you in touch with someone else. So there is a lot of kind of shifts and new beginnings when it comes to your friendship and your social network. As well as, as well as like new beginnings, new ideas, because 11th house is also the place of hopes and dreams, but new beginnings and new ideas that possibly are things that you have been interested in for a while, but you haven't addressed. For Virgo rising, there's a new moon in the 10th house. So the sector of career, while well, Mercury is retrograding in the 9th and Mars conjoins Jupiter in the 8th. So Virgo risings continue on the path of joining forces with others, possibly. And there is a sense of with the Taurus, like Taurus eclipse happened in your ninth house, now Mercury is retrograde in the ninth house. You may be looking closely at your place in life. Are you following your guiding principles? Ninth house is your philosophy. Are you aligned with your beliefs? Are you doing the kind of work that makes you happy? Or have you been in a job that was supposed to last you a few months and you've been in it for five years. So there might be a sense of kind of like figuring out what your place is and that could deal with education changes, that could deal with the place of living, feeling dissatisfied with, with it and needing to adapt, wanting to teach. Um, there's a few possibilities, but like some philosophical, some more literal, and that might bring changes to your professional life. Likely in the next six months, you may experience some kind of new professional beginnings, and that could very much be connected to the ninth house matters. Teaching, learning, moving for the career, pursuing some kind of legal matters, like becoming a lawyer, for example, publishing your work. So writing, right? There's definitely a lot of changes that might come to your career and likely something that you have thought about for a while, something that maybe was on your mind, or maybe it's even a job that you've applied for before, or yeah, like an opportunity that before you were offered to move somewhere and you were like, no, I'm not doing it. And now some time has, time has passed and you're like, yeah, that's actually doesn't sound so bad. So expect exciting professional new beginnings and let me know what's happening in your career right now in the comments below. For Libra Risings, there's a new moon in the ninth house while Mercury is retrograding in the eighth and Mars and Jupiter are hanging out in the seventh house. So there's been, there's likely for Libra Risings an overall theme of these couple of months is new beginnings and partnerships, new beginnings and finances, investing into yourself, spending money, investing into exciting projects, investing into partnerships. So as you're doing that, you might be reevaluating your agreements with other people. You may be reevaluating your finances, paying off debts, right? Which in turn opens space or encourages you to open your world somehow, because like as you clean up your debts, you have more space with the new moon in the ninth house to open your world, to expand your world and maybe learn, teach, travel. And there might be partnerships related to that. There might be partnerships related to teaching. There might be partnerships connected to foreign people or working with foreign people. Um, maybe, you know, if it's a romantic partner with a new moon in the ninth, maybe it's a romantic partner from another country and you travel to see them or they travel to see you because it's, it, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic, but there is definitely a possibility of going back to school, becoming a teacher and revisiting something from the past or maybe even, yeah, like, like something, something in your worldview is changing, I think. And like, you're going through a perspective where for a while, maybe you were very self-reliant or very focused on as a Libra rising, of course, you're relationship oriented, but maybe for a while you've been self-reliant and now you're called to open up your mind a little bit and imagine yourself in a different position. Imagine yourself in a different agreement with people. Imagine yourself in a different relationship with someone who wouldn't normally be your type. Meeting teachers is a possibility too. Mentoring, finding mentors, 
somehow somehow this new moon in the next six months will open your world and will change your beliefs and philosophies for scorpio rising there is a new moon in the eighth house while mercury is retrograde in your seventh house mars sextiles jupiter in the sixth this screams healing <laughs> healing inner child healing past karma it's mercury is retrograding from the eighth into the seventh so maybe you've been looking at your insecurities working in the darkness right scorpio risings are very introspective very intuitive kind of signs that deal with darker feelings maybe more often than the rest of us but you might be doing even more healing because i think having and let me know how the eclipse the lunar eclipse in your first house went for you but like having the eclipse in the first house could bring up and dredge up a lot of challenging things literal things like loss or more well i guess it's still literal like purging things out um physical issues or mental mental issues right so with this new moon in the eighth you might decide to work with a grief counselor you might um invest into your well-being somehow other way starting ter therapy i see is a big possibility here or having breakthroughs in therapy eighth house also deals with debts and taxes and in inheritance and shared resources so there is also a possibility that you are dealing with financial matters including like you know getting an inheritance or paying off debts or kind of collaborating with other people um partnerships with other people joining forces with other people recognizing that there's people supporting you are possibilities here too so definitely more mental health spiritual matters or literal like you need to make an insurance payment you need to get new insurance you need to pay off a debt your partner maybe gets a new job and that affects your finances um those are two main possibilities sagittarius rising gets a new moon in the seventh house while mercury is retrograding in the sixth and mars conjoins jupiter in the fifth house so there's new beginnings in your relationship sector which can show up in a multitude of ways right if you are single maybe you're starting to date you meet someone new maybe that new person is not so new because mercury is retrograde so maybe it's someone you work with someone you dated before someone in your immediate environment and you may see the romance unravel or kind of bloom in the next six months if you are in a relationship there might be a sense of committing to a relationship getting pregnant because mars and jupiter make your fifth house of children is very fertile right now so committing moving in together getting married getting engaged having children there's a lot of exciting possibilities if you are in a happy relationship and you're like no more children for me thank you just try to be um use extra protection <laughs> just be careful right and there could be business opportunities there could be exciting chances to put your resources your head together with other people could be very much professional because mercury is retrograding in the sixth house um so finding support starting a personal business like if you've been struggling and trying to figure out who you want to be where you want to be professionally or you know taking on a role that maybe is more in charge than before so just make sure that you're creating a careful work-life balance because mercury in the sixth house will definitely appreciate you having a good work-life balance so try to take it one step at a time for capricorn rising there's a new moon in the sixth house while mercury is retrograding in the fifth house mars sextile mars jupiter conjoined in the fourth so you get like fourth fifth sixth energy but the new moon in the sixth might encourage you to commit to something that brings you more fun because mercury being retrograde in the fifth house you're questioning your inspiration you're questioning joy in life you may be focusing on the topics of children this could be like pregnancy or maybe an existing child demanding a lot of your attention or maybe like you've been feeling dissatisfied with certain things and now with a new moon in the sixth you are deciding 
to go on this long-term journey to better yourself, to better your health, to take better care of yourself. And I think perhaps the answer of feeling uninspired or the answer to struggling has to do with bettering your life, with cleansing your space, with going to the doctor, with starting to work out regularly, um, eating healthier, right? Like as soon as you do that, your well-being might increase, improve, and you're, you will feel more secure and more confident in yourself. There might also be a legal matter that you have to address, a legal matter that maybe is connected to the home and family, um, work matters, new beginnings at work, starting something exciting for you that, you know, it could be very much creative or it could just be a project that likely deals with like serving and giving back and helping those less fortunate than you. And a possibility like, you know, legal matters connected to the home, but also possibly starting a project in the home that requires you to rebuild something, um, is a possibility here. Something like something that's long lasting. And let me know how this resonates in the comments below. For Aqua Risings, there's a new moon in the house of romance. So that's pretty exciting. But Mercury's retrograde, so I'm curious if your romance is romance with someone from your past. So you are there has been a lot of focus on your immediate environment, your home and family. And of course, you know, fifth house new moon is not just about romance. It can also be as like, you know, as Mercury is retrograding in the fourth, maybe you're questioning what makes you feel happy. Um, sort of similar to Capricorn rising, but maybe you're making, you're making adjustments to your home or you're trying to figure out how to feel more secure in the home, how to open up space for more fun. And then this new moon encourages you to do things that you like to do as a kid or to do things that you felt like you didn't have time to do for, to before. Maybe you're starting a new creative venture that will be connected to your home, like working from the home and, you know, pursuing projects that are like painting, for example, or being like a yoga teacher, teaching Zoom classes from the home. There's a lot of possibilities healing your inner child, taking care of your inner child, making sure that you have more fun and joy in life in order to get in touch with that playful energy is a possibility. And romantically, romantically for sure, new beginnings in your life. But like I said, maybe it's someone from your past. Maybe it's someone you already know or you used to consider as a partner or never considered as a partner and suddenly you do. And another thing, Fifth house is the place of children. So getting pregnant or having a kid is also a possibility here. And if you are a Pisces rising, there's a new moon in your fourth house while Mercury is retrograde in the third house. Mercury retrograde in the, in the third feels like you're dealing with some kind of matters that require travel, that require you to speak up your mind, express yourself. Maybe there is sibling issues or some kind of like things you're negotiating with a sibling, papers you're filing, some kind of some kind of like hustling around a little bit in order to start new things in the home. So like you know if you're if you are with a new moon in the fourth house, maybe you're moving, maybe you are refinancing, maybe you're redecorating. There's a lot of possibilities of like especially with Mars Jupiter being in your second house of money. Maybe you're spending money on the home or you're making money from the home. Maybe you're taking a trip to see your family. That's another possibility. Mercury's retrograde and the house of short trips. So a friend of mine who's a Pisces rising is going to be with his family right at that time. So family, home, safety, security become extremely important at this time. And I wonder too if, you know, if you're just feeling like with Mercury retrograde in the third house presently, like I wonder if you're feeling like you have to say something, like you have to stand up for yourself or you have to express yourself, if you have to tell your siblings how you feel, or maybe you're just, maybe it's not about standing up for yourself, but it's literally about having more contact with them. And let me know if this resonates and 
how it resonates. I know one Pisces rising has been refinancing her home and working in real estate. So working in real estate is also a very literal example of this, right? Like third house and fourth house, your immediate environment, selling homes with a fourth house. Um, and another thing that I see is upgrading your technology or upgrading your home somehow with new technology, making your home more cozy, comfortable, peaceful, tech, I don't know, quick, good, good for connecting with other people. Like you could literally be like installing a phone. Who does that? But maybe you're installing an air conditioner or installing an intercom, something like that might be happening in your home. So this is all I have. Have a lovely new moon in Gemini. Let me know how it goes for you and let me know how you're dealing with all of the past eclipses and you know all of the extravaganza with Mercury retrograde and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.